Where do you think T would have stood on Rhino and Bob Ryder being inducted into the TNA Hall of Fame? Well, he wouldn't know. I didn't. Gee, I, d were you aware that there was a TNA Hall of Fame? Are you in it? No. All right. I didn't know there was a TNA Hall of Fame. I think that um, Rhino's great. Ry Rhino's a Detroit boy. I did not. Yeah, he went. He used to work. He was for the uh, guy at the front desk at the powerhouse and Taylor on Telegraph Road. Yeah. Trained there a lot. It's actually Jesus. since 2012, Kevin, that there's been a, a TNA Hall of Fame. And this this ceremony is actually in Detroit, Detroit. at the uh, Wayne State University yeah. Fieldhouse. Um, uh, Bob Ryder, who I think was it about five years ago, he passed away? I don't know. Bob was a nice guy. 20, uh, 2020, I think, maybe. Yeah. I was just going to ask you your your interactions when you were there. He was very efficient, <clears throat> you know, because like my my number one thing that I used him for was travel. Right. You know, like that was I, I we, anything I did. Uh, I worked with him more as an office person than I did from a wrestling standpoint. So we had a different. It was a different relationship. It was kind of cool. It was it was like we never, you know. Had nothing really to do in our business. It was just, you know, our, our separate personal business. So. Right. No, always uh, just always a sweetheart of a guy. He's uh, referred to as quote the heart and soul of the promotion. Uh, by uh, let's see, well TNA released that statement. True. Was he one of the? Yeah. I mean, I. I don't. Nobody's saying anything bad about Bob Ryder. Right. Right. So, if anyone wants to attend, uh, countdown to Bound for Glory on October twenty sixth from Wayne State University Fieldhouse, Detroit. Uh, October twenty sixth. So there's that. Can't well, believe I, you're not in. How's this even possible? I don't know. Um. I had a good time. I had a good time there. I had some fun there. 